Hi guys, Steve here, and on this video we're going to try and build at different locations on the surface. Hopefully you've seen my other two videos. The first where I test out different building materials to see if I can survive on the surface. And the second which has a working surface base in a safe zone. And that coordinates was 24.6 by 65. From a previous test, I knew when the sun comes up it had set fire to the ground. So I wanted to see what would happen if you build a base higher up off the floor. Will the flames reach and still destroy the building? Or will there be a safe zone in the air and the building will survive? For my first test I picked this location. It's quite far up from the surface floor and I was hoping the flames wouldn't reach it. However it is built on flat ground and even though it's higher up the devs could just put a flame effect on top of this surface as well making it no different from actually building on the floor itself. I took the time to build a proper base here. The ground was originally covered in rocks which I cleared and put the foundations down. Then I re-logged in and found my first problem. As I moved around I found myself getting blocked by invisible objects. Unlike the other maps, when you destroy rocks and put foundations down, that stops the trees and rocks from spawning back in. However, on the surface the rocks do spawn back in but are invisible. That causes movement to be a major pain in the butt, as you've then got to go around to destroy the invisible rocks. I went back to my working base, set the time today, then logged out and back in again. But when I went back to this second base location, I got there and found that everything has been destroyed, apart from the cliff foundations. So yeah, not a good idea to build here. I thought even though the ground was higher, the devs must have classed it the same as a floor. So for my next test, instead of building on the ground, I decided to build on a horizontal spire. I built a cliff platform at the end, then covered it in foundations. It's at about the same height as the other base, but I was hoping the spire didn't have a destructive fire effect on it. I built the walls up, but when it turned daytime, some of them started to get damaged. I next moved away, turned god mode off, then re-logged in, and the whole building there started to take damage. It's about to get destroyed. There you go. There's a weird bug that when you're in god mode, most of your building doesn't get harmed. And even when you type in god mode again to turn it off, your buildings still don't take damage. That's why on my other videos I had to log out and then back in again to clear it. So yeah, building there is not going to work either. So on to the next test. I found one of the vertical spires really high up, then built a cliff platform on it again. I found that if you have other rocks underneath you not too far away, you can build foundations on your platform perfectly fine. However, if your platform's too far away from the ground below you, you won't be able to place any structures because the distance between you and the floor is too high. You can't build a proper size base here, so I abandoned this test. I found another high spire, but this one had rocks below it, and that let me build foundations all over the platform. I'll just quickly fly around and show you this base. You need a behemoth gate so you can get the drake in and out, but this is the kind of finish size you'll end up with. I'm going to log out and then back in again to clear the god mode, so if you've got photosensitive epilepsy, you might want to skip the next minute. Things start off okay, the ground outside is burning, but the building's not getting damaged. Then all of a sudden I catch on fire. I'm taking damage but I'm on infinite stats. It looks like the dinos you're not riding don't take any damage when you're next to them. There goes my armour. Put myself in god mode again. See the ground's on fire down below. I'll take myself out of god mode again. And it looks like wherever you are on the surface in the daytime when it's hot, you'll get the fire buff, even if you're inside the building. So even if your building does survive, you're not going to be able to in the daytime. When I get on a drake, that then gets a fire buff as well. So you're passing it on to any dinos that you're riding. What I'm going to do now is log out to make sure the building's not in god mode and it'll take damage. Leave it a day and then come back at night to see if there's anything left. Right, it's been a full day. I've been going off doing other stuff. I'm going to go back. And it looks like if you build high enough, your building will survive. The 
which is interesting. Maybe it's so far up it's actually in the safe zone. Just look around and it doesn't look like there's any damage. So in theory you could have a base built with dinos in it, leave it during the day only log in or go to it at night time when it's safe then you can use the dinos and base and it won't get destroyed so yeah this kind of does work as long as you don't go to it in the daytime the next test I wanted to run was what if you built your base in shadows away from the sun and behind cliffs will that protect you from catching on fire so I found this little area here the base is protected on three sides by the cliff face and it's facing away from the sun so the light shouldn't shine on it. It's built on three cliff platforms. The left one slightly lower than the other two. So I built the foundations on there first then carried them over to the right so they all be on the same height. That way I'll get an even and level base. Right, I'm ready to test this one so I'm going to go out of god mode again and log out to reset it. Again, epileptic guys beware. Kind of ruins it telling you that. As you can guess what's coming. So I log back in and put myself in god mode because I'm on fire. So is my poor Drake. But for the upside, it looks like we're going to have a giant barking bucket to share later on. The foundation's taking damage. Going down slowly. And so are the walls. In fact, everything's flashing. Looks like everything's taking damage. Just take the stuff off my drake. It's getting hot in here. At least I'm not catching on fire like the other tests. I'll skip forward a bit. I think everything's about to explode. There we go. Just leaving a debris behind. I fell through the ceilings that have been destroyed. i just put on my tech gear so I can go back up there. Foundations have not got much health left. They're about to explode shortly. Pop. There we go. And it looks like the metal cliff foundations are all taking damage as well. So you can't build anything here and survive. That's all the tests I'm going to do on building locations. But the next two tests will be what other safe areas to build at the entrance of the surface. On my second video, Nublet Surface Base, I've already quickly shown the safe zone and that you can build a working surface base there. So now I'm going to cover the other two surface areas. The first one is in the top left of the map at coordinates 17.2 by 23.6. As you can see I've already built my cliff platforms and put foundations all around this area so when the sun comes out you can see which of them get destroyed. That will leave you all the safe zones you can build in. I've even put some pillars down, because some of you have asked will sunlight destroy them. I'll just get into where I think will be a safe zone and then change the time of day and that will show you all where you can safely build. Hopefully this will be an okay spot. Right, just put this time of day so we can get the sun out. Can't really see any damage at the moment. I'm not in god mode, so I'm not sure why. Oh. <laughs> there we go, that was quick. This coding's bugged to crap. All those foundations are getting destroyed. 
Is it along with my armor? There we go, now it's clear. And this is all the safe zones you can build in. There's a fairly big one there. It's narrow in the middle. And there's an okay sized one at the far end. So you could get like two bases here if you wanted. Ah, this platform's taking damage, so you won't be able to build on that one. So don't build in the middle, just build either side of it, and it should be okay. The last surface area is in the bottom left of the map, and the entrance coordinates is 79 by 25.5. This way up's a bit different than the others, because it's got multiple shelves so we can build multiple bases on. We get to the first and biggest shelf. Again, I've built cliff platforms at the side and put foundations on top. Let's see if we get any destroyed. We can have a fairly big base there, to be honest. This is the second shelf. Fairly okay sized. This is a third shelf. Slightly bigger than the shelf below. And at the top we come to the surface. Again I've covered the area in foundations. So when they get destroyed by the heat we can see where the safe zones are. Okay I'll change the time to the daytime. God mode is off so the foundations are getting damaged but you can't really tell for a while. They'll stay white until they've got really low hit points. Then they'll go darker and get destroyed quickly. I was about to change the time again to see if I could speed it up. But there's no need. Right, let's look around and see what foundations are left. That looks odd, there's flames in front of me, but if I stand on them, I don't get damaged. It's more of a visual bug. So there's no heat effect there, so you can build your base. fire resistant or it's just bad visuals as you can see it's a fairly big area you can build along the top here oh, there's no flames coming off that small cliff in front of us I just dismount and check the platform see if that's taking damage nope that's fine as well it's a shame you can't build in this sandy area, but if you go into it, you'll start getting barbecued. So yeah, not only can you build up here, but you also have a platform shelf below. And a one below that. And a large one below that. So you could fill this entire cavern up with a base on many different layers. And that's it for my surface test videos. If you missed any, you can find them at the end. Thanks for watching. If it was helpful, click the like button. And if you're new, please click subscribe. You can also click the bell icon and get notified as soon as I upload next. And don't forget to check out my other helpful videos. Goodbye and hope to see you again.